No. All right, let's go ahead and set the timer. This will be for the sign of Virgo or Virgo cross watcher. Okay, I'm kind of getting mixed messages in yours. I'm basing it off of the energy today. I've been sitting here watching a couple of different shows and I'll be sitting with one of your signs and right now before this video is the Virgo and I kind of got, well, let's just dive into it. So <laughs> here's what I'm thinking. Let's say, um, I will talk about those who are single and those who are coupled, married, engaged, whatever, taken. Let's talk about those of you who are in a relationship. I'm about to sneeze, so that is definite confirmation for me. If you are in a committed relationship, doesn't matter how long you've been in one, you could be married. I think a lot of you are probably married if you're going to fit in this category, <clears throat> the taken category. Here's my water. By the way, if you ever like drink a whole lot of water, if you like kombucha, I mean, otherwise don't buy it because you'll waste the whole thing of kombucha, but you can get these at Kroger, Walmart, whatever health food grocery store you have, or even uh, Publix. This is kombucha. I like the all kombucha. doesn't matter what it is. You get it and it's glass, so you can just keep it full of water after that, but hold on. I have a Berkey water filter system and I just refill it. What was I saying? Oh yeah, marriage. Marriage or relationships. Based on the show I was just watching earlier, somebody here could be like, I kind of picked up on this in the last one, but I was like, oh, maybe you should spend some time together. But I'm kind of picking up on the other person now. They're, one of the partners in a committed relationship enjoys being away from their spouse. Now, people are going to freak out about that. They're going to be like so offended and so hurt. But you shouldn't be just hear the message, okay? And this may not be you. You could be the one. Where it's like, I have been married to them for so long. <clears throat> or we have been together since high school or middle school or for 10, 20 years or a really long time. You know, we, or we went into this having children or we went into this and had children young or something. Or when we got together, we, we were raising a kid or kids. And there's this level of... I kind of just sometimes like my space like we're, we're it's not necessarily that somebody's moving apart from their partner or the love is dying but somebody just needs like maybe time with their friends I don't know it feels like a married couple is probably on the rocks even if not both of them not both parties one party is you remember a couple of videos ago when it first started snowing? I think it was like Snowing Love, I titled it. I said something like, spend more time together. This will be a good time for you to, but, but I feel like, I don't know though, guys, because maybe the other partner was like, maybe that pushed somebody over the edge. Like maybe someone here is like, no, I don't want to spend any more time with my partner. Like I want a little bit of a break. I want to go hang out with my friends or I want to go on business trips. I want to travel so that I have a little bit of a break because I'm always around them. You know, I think that that's healthy. I don't see any problem in that. If anything, that could be what saves a marriage is not necessarily on the flip side. For one, it would save the marriage because we, you know, they would want to spend more one-on-one -on -one time together. But for another, it may save the marriage if they are allowed their space, which is healthy. Both are healthy. It just depends because maybe two people have different love languages here. So I don't know. This is not for everybody, guys. This is not for everybody. But for some watching this video, Virgo or Virgo cross watcher, reverse it if you need to, if you're married specifically, for some of you, you could be kind of thinking like I don't know have wandering eyes during this time or doesn't mean cheating it doesn't mean wandering to another woman or another man it could just mean like I what else is out there what else is out there where well, I want to go eat but alone I want to go do this but alone I don't have to check my G you know they'll check my GPS 24 7 see where my location is or they'll be calling me the whole time I'm gone and I got to answer to them like I don't want to have to do this like somebody's getting tired of their current partner 
they miss the single life a little bit or maybe they've done this one too many times went from relationship to relationship to relationship to relationship or maybe they miss being a bachelor or a bachelorette I don't know doesn't mean they don't love their partner it's just you know you ever been there like I get it I get both sides I totally get it I can see both both sides you know one person could have no sooner gotten out of a marriage one marriage or one serious relationship and went and married another one you know now on the single side um, I mean actually this could be really beneficial if we have t like a Virgo here and whoever else like another person that sometimes y'all are on and sometimes y'all are off and I don't mean toxic I don't mean it's a relationship where we take advantage of each other or we use each other I mean I respect your space you respect mine we come together when we both agree on it and when we don't we don't you focus on your life you grow yourself spiritually financially physically in whatever way you do what you want I'm not questioning you asking what you're doing giving you the fucking fifth degree third degree I'm not giving you anything I'm not I'm not trying to control you and then you have another person who's the exact same way now that shit could work where it's like we decide to you know but then maybe one person here may maybe eventually wanting a little more intimacy a little more one-on-one -on -one time, a little cuddle, a little snuggle, a little boo-boo baby smooch with lady, you know what I mean? A little a little roll in the hay. Even if it's not sex, you know, maybe it's like I I want a little something something. But then the other person here may say, Well, I don't want that. It's like wants are changing. You see what I'm saying? It definitely goes along with the show I'm watching right now, like we could have chemistry, yes. We could have, depending on the connection here, whichever one's single or married, we could have a lot of love. We love each other, yes. But it's like our wants are changing. Our desires, our needs are changing. Our love languages are changing or they're not the same at all. So could be that someone here has a decision to make. Stay single uh, and stay kind of dealing with the same person where it's like very platonic, but it works. But one person I think is wanting something deeper. They're getting ready for that. And I don't think you should ever sell yourself short. If you want more, you should be open with your person, even if you're not in a committed relationship where you've both kind of agreed and settled on, okay, this is kind of what it is, friends with benefits type thing. Tell them. And if that's not what they want, they can tell you that they're not wanting that and then you can move forward, vice versa. See what I mean? There's no harm in that. We're all adults. We just be open with each other. There's no need to feel like bummed out or sad. Now, if there's a married couple here, somebody feels trapped. I think I think somebody feels trapped because like I mean I don't know why but they do I mean it is what it is are they being honest about it <clears throat> no I don't think somebody's being honest about it like they may have fun with their partner I'm getting like trips travel they like to travel have you know uh, hang out with other married couples that are friends like friend groups you know it looks good in society to be married, but someone here may be like, kind of miss the bachelor life or the bachelorette life. Like, I miss being single. And if this is not you and you're like, no, that's not me. I love my wife or my husband. I absolutely love being married. Then it could be a friend of yours or a friend of your spouse's that you would know who it is. You'd be like, yep, I know exactly who that is. You wonder why they're married. You're like, why did they marry them? They, it's just definitely not not what this person should have done you know so it could be that <laughs> now this could be past his this could have already happened where it's like you know but I mean it's like a crossroads in a way yeah you got a little bit of a crossroads here where either you're at one your spouse your partner's at one or if you're both single you and someone y'all been kind of like friends with benefits on and off kind of things it's not toxic though you agree on it. You love the relationship like this. Neither one of you are dating anyone. It's not like you're hiding anything, keeping secrets. It's just that you're both single, so you don't have to tell each other everything. And then when you do, you do. You know, because you love being open with each other. It's like your best friend. But then someone here might be wanting more. Whatever that means. And I definitely think neither should lie to themselves. I don't think neither should sell themselves short either and be like, well... I want this person and because I want this particular person then I guess I'll just kind of deal with not getting with what I want because I love this person I don't think you should ever do that 
you should get what you want. Life is short. You know, if you want more, you should get what you want. It's just, it may cost you the person that you love, but you can love someone else. You know, there's so many people on this earth. There's so many people on this planet. And that could actually be what someone's thinking, but that hurts people's feelings when they hear that. Why? If you, if you listen to any of the teachings of like Ram Dass, especially, and, and really a lot of spiritual leaders, the higher you ascend spiritually, it's easy to kind of just love everyone. I don't mean give yourself away to everyone. That's not what I mean. I mean, you can be very much cel celibate and love more than one person. I don't know if that's the case here, but maybe where it's like, I just, I love who I'm with, yes, and I love our child, our children, if y'all have children, but I also, like, fantasize about being single, not having to answer to someone, not having to be restricted. It's something like that. I, I love, you know, someone could even have fallen in love with someone on the outside. Like somebody loves somebody on the outside or they'll be coming to you. Let's say your marriage is fine, whatever. Your friend could be coming to you saying, hey, you know, I'm kind of in love with so-and-so. Like, I have feelings for this person. It could be like a secret. Don't tell anybody. <clears throat> I, I, I love this person, but I'm married. Well, we have a problem then, don't we, Houston? Somebody with Texas? Or somebody here may be asking about another to you. Maybe you're like mutual friends or something, and you may be like, why are you even asking me? You're married. Focus on your wife or your husband. You know, that's not for everybody, but it's like, because they they are lying to themselves. Somebody here could be lying to themselves. I, I don't know. I don't think it's a bad message. Do I think people are going to take it wrong? Absolutely. It happens to me often. Yep. But if I was out there uh, spewing a bunch of bullshit, saying just what people wanted to hear, I'd have it made. I would have it made. <laughs> but no, I'm sitting here actually telling people the truth, like exactly what I'm feeling. Single, married, whatever. And it's that they don't want to hear it. People don't want to hear it. But I feel like this is probably reverse for a lot of you. I don't know. Maybe not. Either way, no judgment. I'm not judging anybody here. Do you when it comes to but love, but be honest with yourself. And if somebody's married here, they need to be honest with their partner and just come right out and say it. Now, are they going to take it well? Probably not, you know. But you may wake them up. They may grow. You never know. Hmm. Why do I get somebody here like regrets getting married or again or like deep down if they're being honest to themselves <laughs> or they they fantasize like maybe they like the whole you know I've got somebody at home and I've got this I like the home life I like this idea but I also like being single but then if it's single people here it may be like someone likes the idea of um, being single and being independent and not having to answer to anyone, but they know who they love, their single BFF or friends with benefits wants more. And they may be like, I don't know if I could ever give them that though. And I don't want to like, I don't want them to settle with me. I want you to settle with me if you want more. You deserve to have more. You deserve to have whatever you want to have. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, but I'd be lying if I didn't say, you know what I mean? It's kind of like that. Okay, I'm going to go now because this is getting confusing. But I love you guys so much. Have fun. I'll talk to you later. Bye.